So how do you go about attacking the Red Sox tomorrow? Uh, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense for me to tell you that. <laughs> what would you say you want to focus on tomorrow? Uh, I want to focus on, on being aggressive and, and trusting my stuff and um, just continuing to kind of sort of do what I do and trust that that's going to be enough. Um, you know, that this game is another game. It's a big game, but I'm um, going to treat it like another one. And Andy? What, what's, Jay, what, what's history against a particular team mean to you when you've had a long career, like your, rec your career record against the Red Sox? Is it something you almost discard games when they're a totally different personnel, or does it mean something, comfort in a ballpark versus a, an organization? How much does that matter to you? I think it depends how you look at it. I'm going to try to take positives from it, regardless of maybe what, what numbers say and, and what the team is. But, um, you know, maybe rely on some, some past experience and um, maybe some knowledge gained from that. But, um, you know, once you're out there, I'm just kind of competing. Uh, Meredith, Andy, if you wouldn't mind passing it to her. Jay, what does it mean to you to get the ball in game one, and how hostile do you think the environment will be tomorrow? I mean, it, it feels good. I, you know, um, I expect to go out and perform, and you know, I'm happy to have the ball for sure. Um, you know, these games, you know, I've learned since I came over here um, in the short while it can be intense, and I certainly expect a lot more of that. Um, but to be honest, I don't put a ton of thought into that. I try to kind of block a lot of that part out of it, but um, I'm sure it'll be plenty loud. And to your right, Jay. From your perspective, I mean, you know this team well, and they know you extremely well as well. Do you think that, again, your opinion, do you think that gives the pitcher an advantage, the hitter an advantage? Do you see one, one way or the other, or it's about execution on game day? Again, it's, it's whatever way you want to take it, I think. You know, I think if you look at general trends, probably seeing guys more often than not would start to benefit the hitter. But uh, at the same time, I think more often than not, it's about execution. So, um, that's kind of going to be my focus, um, execution and, um, you know, trusting my stuff. Uh, Brian in the middle. I guess just to follow up on that, is it a good thing or a bad thing that you just faced this team here in this building? And, and what did you take from that start? Um, I, you know, I'm kind of going to put that out of my head. I don't, um, I don't know the answer to that, really. Um, it kind of is what it is. We, I think we were in a position where it made sense to, to do what we did. And... Um, you know, every game's different at the same time. So it's whatever way. I'm just going to try to stay positive and, um, you know, probably not, not worry about that too much. Uh, Christy, to your left, Jay. When you have had success against a certain organization over the years, how much does confidence play into that going into a game against that team? It's a factor, for sure. I mean, confidence and success feed off each other. And... Um, you know, that's just in general, not really for one specific team. Um, you know, this is a team that won 108 games, and you don't see that very often. And it's a team that is probably as dynamic um, a team as there is in, the, in, in baseball. So, um, you know, I'm certainly aware of their capabilities and never take anything for granted. Um, so it's going to be fun. Uh, and, uh, Dan right here, sorry. Jay, how much value do you put on Pat, your own past playoff experience, and how much do you think you evolved as a as a big game type pitcher in the last three seasons? Um, I feel like my game's come a long way uh, in the last few years, especially um, early on from some of my previous kind of playoff experiences with Philadelphia, and um, you know I think this most recent one is with Toronto a few years back in '16 is more similar to the kind of pitcher that I am now. So um, I rely on that a little bit. But, but again, to me, I'm trying to treat it as another game that's part of our season. Uh, I'm certainly aware of the ramifications of where we're at. But um, that's my focus is continuing the prep and just be ready on game day. That's, you know, that's supposed to be the fun day. Uh, Dan, right here. Jay, it seems like this is the game that the Yankees traded for you for. You know, do you look at it that way? And is this what you thought of when when they got you, that Red Sox in the playoffs in a game one situation would be your spot? No, I don't, I don't think I thought about that coming over here. I think, um, 
you know, my, I think my thought was, you know, I was a uh, part of a piece that could potentially help them get where they wanted to be. I don't think it, I didn't think of it in terms of specifics, but uh, I'm certainly ha happy to have the ball tomorrow and uh, feel honored to have it. Uh, Pete? Jay, just in uh, general, uh, in your short experience as a Yankee, has this uh, been more fun than you expected? Or is, how just has it been uh, just experiencing this for the last two months? Yeah, I mean, the last two weeks have been great. I think you don't know what to expect, but when you get traded to a contender who has a chance to play in October, that's, that's why you're playing. And um, you got to take the positives and look at it as positive. And it's been fun being a part of that. And... Um, you know, we look forward to keep going.